Hi there. So I'm just doing a very quick review on the Dimplex ECR series Eco Radiator. I have the ECR20 TIE, um, which I think it also comes in the 15. And um, I basically uh, bought this because I have um, really old uh, electric block heaters um, in my rental apartment and um, they're really uneconomical and I just found them really um, awful actually. Basically I have to, uh, by the time they come on, um, it's night time and um, I'm going to bed. So <laughs> I wanted to get um, a kind of economical heater which um, kind of instantly heated up the room and was much more controllable and also so that I could put it on a timer. Um, this is the um, oil free version so um, it's much more eco-friendly and uh, than an oil radiator. The other advantage is that it's much lighter so I live on a top floor flat and I was able to carry it up the stairs really easily. It's really lightweight and you've got the casters down here which are dead easy to fix. Um, you've also got the cable tidy here and as you can see um, it's, it's a quite compact heater really. Um, probably not the most attractive heater that you get in the world, but if, if you want to just get it out now and then or put it away in the summer, you've got the advantage of doing that as well. So uh, quick run through, switching it on, you just plug it in and then you'll see the red light come on. Um, it's still there even if you uh, turn the controls off, that just shows power on. The top control has got three wattage settings. So one is um, 600 watts, two is 1400 watts, and three is 2000 watts. Now I found it sufficient to heat a living room with just the um, 600 watts, but it's really good to know that I can whack it up when it gets really, really, really cold, because I live in Scotland, so um, I really need something quite warm at times when, when it gets really, really wintry. The second dial is the thermostat. Now, the only thing I didn't like about this, it doesn't really give you an actual temperature. So um, um, I think with this unit, if you really want to know the temperature of your living room, um, it's probably worth getting a separate thermostat for that. Um, some of the other units uh, that are wall units actually have the, the temperature display here. So um, I've kind of set it at about half, um, but that's something you probably need to play around with to see what sort of temperature you want, um, you know, according to the weather. But in, in a good way, it's also really um, controllable because you can turn it up and up and down during the evening. Now, I couldn't find a video on programming. I'm one of those people that like to find a YouTube video to find quick instructions on how to do things. Um, and although the manual wasn't too time consuming and very um, straightforward, um, there were a couple of things that I did get a little bit confused on. So to get to the point, um, initially you just want to program the time. So you want to make sure the unit's on um, to program it, otherwise that won't work. And to set the time, you just basically need to hold down the programming button and you'll come up with flashing hour to just to adjust the hour you just need to press plus and minus and then enter and then you can adjust the seconds by pressing plus and minus and then enter and there you have the time uh, this is currently in, in auto now it's got four programmable settings on this so I was quite keen to have a heater that I could have set for the evening to come in from work and then again in the morning um, to, to, to come on first thing in the morning. So to set the programs, you kind of have to go to the program button. Now the mistake I made was holding down the button, but actually you just press it once and then you'll see P1. This is the start time. So again, like the time, adjust the hours to the start time that you want then just press enter plus minus seconds enter 
and then this is the time you want it to finish again hours plus minus press enter again and the seconds plus minus enter it will immediately go to program two so uh it's exactly the same as before you just put in the hours enter seconds enter and then the finish time enter seconds enter and then it will immediately switch to program three if you don't want to set any more programs you just keep pressing enter do you get to program four again press enter 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 and it will go back to the auto screen I found that you couldn't go straight to program three by just clicking on the program button here. So um, you do have to kind of go through all the programs to get to program four, if that makes sense. Um, so that's set in auto. Auto off means that it will come on with the timer. But if you want it just for, um, you come in and you just want the heater on earlier or you just want to flip it on for an hour during the day, then you need to press mode and switch it to manual and as you'll see the red light comes on and that will instantly switch the heater on um, and again you can just adjust the temperature to what you want to just add a bit of um, uh, you know instant heating here and there through the day or you can just use it manually all the time <coughs> excuse me as and when you need to switch it on um, so apart from that, I'm really pleased with the radiator. Um, it gives out a lot of warmth. Um, I haven't got a huge flat, but um, this will certainly be more than enough for quite a large room, I would say. Um, and this, this will be in the living room. And it also comes with a three year guarantee. So um, if you want to sign up for that as well, it's um, a bit of reassurance that it's not going to go wrong or anything. Um, I did do some research on, on these units. Um, I looked at DeLonghi and some of the other units. Um, but for the price, I got this for £99 from screwfix.com. Um, it was actually about 123 on Amazon. And, and so um, it just depends on what you want. But um, I did quite a bit of research. And I think for the size that it is, it's quite compact. It's very light. I could put it away in the winter if I want to and um it's just fairly easy and straightforward to use so i hope you found that useful and stay warm